Welcome to Rivenfield Ponds, this actual duel in South Yorkshire's Crown. We're only 10 minutes away from Junction 1 of the M18. Rodham's just around the road that way. Doncaster's only 10 minutes that way. Barnes is not far away. Sheffield. So we're surrounded in, you know, by South Yorkshire's great towns. As far as fishing's concerned, you can probably only describe it as a Mr. Crabtree venue. Woodland, wildlife, scenes, it's just scenic, it's gorgeous. And I don't think anybody knows about this place. And I want to just shine a little bit of light on this fantastic club. It's the most well-kept venue, the most organized fishery. It's managed to the nth degree. And as a fisherman, it's absolutely rammed with fish. There's six lakes, the little lake, you've got the cart lake, the great pond which I'm sat on now, Kingfisher, Bridge Pond, and then Burcliffe at the bottom. The club has been established really since back in 1972 when the local steelworks, uh, they basically bought this pond in 1972 for 18,000 pounds. And since then, and a massive amount of work has been has gone on building these walls, and re-diverting the streams, clearing this place from debris and rubbish, there were a tip at the back. I mean, this place dates back to the 1700s. It's been, there's always been water here, but it's only been loved for the last sort of 50, well, it was bought the year I was born. Uh, and for the last 50 years, it's been nurtured. The guys here, along with the help from the Steelworks, South Yorkshire Council, various teams of workers, but more importantly, the little team headed by Martin Reed that have poured their life and love to create, as I call it, an oasis. So let's show you a little bit more about Ravenfield Ponds and what it entails. So Ravenfield Ponds sits within uh, the Ravenfield Ponds Club. Now, that is quite a, a, a sizeable club because it also includes uh, stretches of the River Don, the canal at Kilness nearby, uh, Baker's Pond. So if you become a member of this club, you're not just, you don't just get this beautiful venue here, you've got access to other waters. But when we talk about Ravenfield Ponds, it's run, managed and absolutely loved by a small group of people, including Keith the groundsman, Martin the chairman, Andy Katz Marchicles running it. You have guys here that run odd matches in the midweek, Mick Bostock and people like that. And it's sort of a bit of a family. And by becoming a member, a member of that club, you, you're into that family because when you come down the lane, there's a gate and there's a key and every member's got a key. And we're all sort of um, stakeholders in this venue. So we're all looking after each other everybody's keeping an eye on the place and it just feels like you're in your back garden really. I've come parked my car there, I've come through that gate, locked it up and you know you could be a million miles away from anywhere. Uh, they have annual memberships and that can start from for a junior it's £25, if you're between the ages of 16 and under 18 it's £43 which is about half price and then for a full membership it's £82.50 uh, for a single rod. There's options to have double rods for silver fishing, triple rods for carp fishing up in the, that specimen carp pond where there's carp to £26. Uh, there's a man and wife permit that you can have so it doesn't cost you quite as much. You know it very very accommodating is one is what i want to say to you and um you know it's well worth when you think about the cost of living these days an annual membership get yourself down here you've got access to all these ponds all that extra water why wouldn't you So we've already mentioned that there's six ponds here. Let me talk you through them one by one. So as you come down the hill, you've got the little pond. 
it's a gorgeous little pond, nice little access so you can, if you bring in your kids, your grandkids, or you just want a nice quick access, drop in, catch a few fish. That's got everything in it. It's got a lot of cruisions, it's got tench, it's got bream, it's got eyed, it's got roach, it's got rud, the lot. As have the other ponds, but that one particularly, loads and loads of fish. If you want to catch cruise, that's where you want to be. You then drop down to the carp pond, now that's the old middle pond for when there were only three ponds here. Idyllic, I think is the word, picture postcards. I think people have oil paintings made that, that, that represent that pond. Little island in the middle, pads everywhere, and it's a carp pond. There's big wide pegs for the lads who have the three rod permits. They want a carp fish, they can overnight fish there as well. And that's got carp up to 20, eight pound I think the last the biggest one that's been weighed so far I'm sure there's bigger fish in there that people don't tell us about because they want to keep that to themselves you know how they are and it's got lots and lots of fish in it lots of features great pegs if that's your game you'll not find a better place than that you then drop on to the biggest of all the lakes which is the great pond and aptly named big damn head that I'm just sat on now and this has got a little bit like the little pond it's got everything in it but it's got quite a big shoal of bream in it. They, they catch them regularly. Down the middle of this pond, you'll see it's got some fish sanctuaries. So they're like artificial islands, big cages on the bottom. And that's just to stop any predating uh, birds or anything else for that matter. And that gives a fish some a sanctuary to, to bolt into. And then they've got floating islands directly over the top of them. They're great fish holding features and you can catch bream and eyed and all sorts of fish up to those. But there's, so there's, again, big head of bream, big head of tench, uh, cruies, there's roach, there's rod, there's eyed. There's a stray carp in every single pond or two, apart from when I come to talk to you about Kingfisher, uh, sorry, bridge. Uh, it's, but the great pond, it's got uh, lots of pegs in it. I think there's sort of 90 odd pegs around Ravenfield ponds in total, and this one has the most. You then drop down onto Kingfisher. That's a smaller pond tension cruisers and if you want to catch a rod, a chuck, that's the place to sit. Nice small secluded pond, nice on one bank, really really private, you get out of the way. Dropping down then onto the bridge pond, that's a slightly different scenario altogether. So back uh, in the 90s when the rise of the commercials came, Ravenfield Ponds took the decision to put some carp in, in that lake to try and um, satisfy you know, obviously the demand and the sort of desire to catch match carp as you want to call them and that pond's got plenty of them you can chuck across to the far bank fish a method you can catch them down these reeds i were down there the other day having a look and they were all tailing up and coloring the water so if you want to come and fish in a more modern sort of commercial style you can do that on there all these ponds respond to pellets uh, the fish love them fish meal ground baits natural baits but i think it's slightly different that pond to the rest um as i mentioned earlier very uh, natural, purist, uh, gorgeous type of fishing. If you just want to come in and wet your line, you can fish a waggler off the end of your rod, throw a few maggots in, you're going to catch fish. But that one, if you've just got that sort of desire, then that's the one to go on to. And then you drop down to the bottom one, Burcliff. That's a stunning lake. It's only pegged down one bank, so everybody's got rushes across. It ranges from about 20 to 35 metres wide, big wide part in the bottom. It's loppy with fish, real nice and private, trees and just pegs on one bank. And that's got the same stock, roach, bream, tench, odd carp, cruisians, rod and roach. So really what I'm trying to say is whatever you want to try and catch or what you feel when you catch, you can come to Ravenfield Ponds, you can probably catch it in any way that you desire. So any fish you want, in any sort of method, you can catch on feeder, waggler, pole, you name it, you can do it here. I'm sure there is an angler alive that can't be absolutely excited about what we've shown you today. And the beauty of Ravenfield Ponds is it's part of Ravenfield Park and there's a concessionary footpath that runs all the way around the outside, right on this top ridge. So if you are thinking about coming and getting a permit, which you should do, then basically come and have a walk around, bring your family, view in, take it all in and then you'll see what I'm talking about. And that means you can see what you're buying before you go onto that website. So go on Ravenfield Ponds, get your permit, and you'll never look back, I'm sure.